Hi, my name is Keith and I'm known as a Florida stone man and today I'm going to bring you a very interesting and different video topic called the incense game. This video will help you connect to your guides much better and it's going to help you guys establish a connection with your guides and a fun game you can play that elevates your frequency, that helps you attract love, that helps you attract abundance, etc. So you're going to find your soul herb in this video and it's going to be through your guides. So most importantly, when it comes to incense, it's based on your guides. It's based on your frequency. It's based on your astrological chart. It's based on your energy. It's based on what's around you. It's based on what's not around you. It depends on your goals and your your life plan, your life track, etc. So in this video, this is going to be a heavy angelic connection video because in this video, your guides are going to tell you what to burn. So as in burning, I mean incense. So I would highly suggest you use uh, not those sticks because those sticks that you guys use, like uh, most of them are chemical based unless you find one that's not chemical based. Disclaimer, this is just a spiritual, it's a just, just a spiritual video. It's not anything physical, but you can learn how to burn uh, incense disc or charcoal disc. It's very safe. You have to study on, uh, study on Amazon. A different YouTube video will teach you how to burn them correctly, but you literally burn a charcoal disc that you can get on Amazon and you put the herb on top of it and it like a very small amount and it just diffuses and it goes upward. Now, when it comes to, because your, your guides, your angels will be very responsible for this. Very, very responsible to help you guys do this. So most importantly, ask the most high God. Ask for a clean connection to your angels. Ask that your connection may be directly to your angels and nothing else. Like you'll have a feeling if the the messages what you're hearing in your thought processes what you're hearing in your intuition is is right or of light and you'll have a feeling like hey something's off so this is going to be only like beautiful smells nothing really bad so even garlic will smell good when you burn it and it sounds wild but if you burn the garlic peels it won't smell that bad and it'll clear garlic i mean it'll clear negative energy so everything starts with god at the end of the day i mean at the beginning of the day everything starts with god and at the end of the day everything will end with God too. Now, one thing you really have to realize is that your guides are responsible for most things in your intuition, most things, uh, most, most importantly, God, because God is the one who armors your guides. Put down my window. But God is the one who armors your guides. So in armoring your guides, the thing is, maybe your guides know something that you don't that's going to help your frequency. Maybe if you just burnt cinnamon, your financial blockages would dissipate. Let me get into the topic of, um, and this is very important, the topic of burnt offerings, which I've talked about in previous videos. When you're connecting directly to your guides, this goes up into the air. This heavily goes up into the air and it goes, it goes into the fifth dimension. It goes into a place we can't see. So imagine... I'm going to use an example. When you ring up, and same thing with sounds and bells. So, you ever, wonder, ever wonder what ringing a bell does? So, it takes a sound, and it goes, like, I'm going to give you an example. Ding! And you can kind of hear it go out into the other side. It's, it feels like it's still ringing, even though it, it's not stopped ringing. And you can feel like, you can feel it going on the other side, like it's going somewhere else that's not here. Because it translated to their side. So, same thing with incense and smoke. You see the smoke go up and it just disappears. Same thing applies. So, in this video, most importantly, ask the Most High God for a connection to allow you to connect to your beautiful angels. Your angels, not spirits. Like, actual angels. What's the difference between angels and spirits? Angels are something that's never been human. Spirits can act like angels once they hit a certain point from God elevating that spirit for example if they're an ancestor but even your ancestors your higher ancestors work with your angels to help you so some people are like well my grandma's my angel and i'm like yes yes and no because technically an angel the helper of humanity is something that's never been born as a human so straight into it you will ask your angel what herb should i use today what herb and you you everyone can hear their angels some people can hear them with their physical ears, so they'll, have, they'll hear a voice. So it's pretty easy to hear them as a voice after a while. It's just practice. It's just practice. It, it's completely random, but it gets less random as time goes on. So you'll hear, hear, 
just take a, uh, a voice. It could be a man or a woman, whatever your angel takes a voice as. It's, it's gonna be your angel if you ask God for help. Or you will hear a very booming loud voice in your head. Essentially, they're almost the same thing because the one in your head is so loud, it's almost your ears, or sometimes it'll be subtle. So even if you're new and starting out, it might be subtle. So this is for clear audience people. And even if you don't have the clear audience, your clear cognizance will help you with this. So just randomly right now, an herb will pop into your head. Just a random herb. It could be cinnamon, it could be anything else. It could be frankincense, it could be literally anything else, but you'll, you'll just have an intuition. You'll just have a feeling, you'll just know. So like, well, I don't know if this one applies to me or not. You'll, you'll just, it'll pop in your head. It could be bay. It could be orange peels. It could be something very random. Just like, oh, like everyone will have something completely different. So if you don't know, then you can meditate on it. So when you ask, it'll go. And if it doesn't pop in the head right away, it'll pop in your head eventually. So just even throughout your entire day, just go about your entire day and just be like, okay, I'm going through my day, going through my day, going through my day, just thinking about other things, and then boom, pop in your head. It's like, or you'll just have kind of like a, uh, like an etheric craving, like, hey, I really want uh, orange today. I really want, uh, I'm really feeling like, I w I'd like to smell this patchouli smell. I'd like to smell orange. I'd like to smell, uh, just maybe it could be sandalwood. Maybe it's pala, pala santo. So, well, Palo Santo uses this much if you're gonna actually use it, like this much. So maybe it's rosemary, so it doesn't matter. It's just, it's gonna be completely random. You might not think it's right, but as long as the herb is nagging you, as long as it's like, it might annoy you. I'm like, Ew, why is this popping in my head? So your angel gave you the advice or the your angels gave you advice. Maybe it's, maybe it's more than one herb. If it's more than one herb, document it up to three or five. So the first one on the list will have to pop up first. What if you're torn between two? Use both. So the incense game consists of you connecting your connecting to your guide, you connecting to your clairvoyance, you connecting to your clear audience, you connecting to the frequency of being able to perceive what just pops in your head. And it will change every single day. It will literally change every single day. So you might just be feeling one day you might be feeling frankincense and rosemary the next day frankincense and myrrh maybe maybe you've just gotten sick of frankincense like and you have to understand some of these feelings that you're having is your higher self as well so the offering just won't be taken up like that it just won't be taken up like that so uh maybe in the higher dimensions that frequency is like uh you've graduated from that frequency or you're, you're just kind of bored of it so let's just say if you were for a whole month you were feeling patchouli and lavender and you're like, Ugh, I don't want to burn this anymore. It's because, and keep in mind, when you burn something, it becomes into the higher realms, the higher frequencies, and it changes. So let's just say you, you eat the same thing every day and you're bored of it now. Same thing applies. So if this offering is going up to uh, your guides and it really empowers them, let's just say, okay, let's time for a new, it's time for a new frequency. So you do something com completely different. You'll always have the feeling. You'll always have like a, a wondering, a craving, etc. So one day it might be like, you're just, maybe it's the, the freakiest thing such as cherry wood or whatever. It doesn't matter because your guides will just stick it in your head. So this is very versatile. And this does help you find out where exactly your intuition lies, where exactly, uh, your psychic gifts are because you'll hear it as a voice you'll hear it in your intuition you'll maybe see it in a dream etc you'll just you'll just have an automatic knowing it's different maybe you'll smell it maybe you'll taste it maybe uh when you're eating food like you're just you you just maybe you're craving something so whatever you're craving let's just say you're craving cinnamon buns you're like i don't know why i'm craving cinnamon buns so you're craving it because that's an aspect that you've asked so take cinnamon and burn it and then how let me let me explain how to do this game as well you'll do it once a day preferably before meditation or during meditation so you'll take this herb and you'll burn it before meditation and when you go into meditation your meditation will be that much more intense so when you're meditating when you're when you're tapping into the frequency and before the meditation you use an herb that you kind of craved and it should always be good herbs good i mean no such thing as a bad herb but it shouldn't be anything crazy like uh there's no such thing as anything crazy like that but you'll have just a hankering for the herb. Like, okay, I feel, I, I just have the intuition to do this. And even if you don't have the intuition, you're, it'll develop over time. It's a muscle. So 
what's the benefits of doing this game? It keeps your aura very non-stagnant. So let's just say use cinnamon for three weeks or maybe for a day. Maybe just use it for one day and it switches. And the smell will switch for you too. Or maybe you'll just get sick of it. Maybe one day you'll be like, I don't want to burn anything. Versus the next day, like, maybe I want to burn five different... It doesn't really matter. Different. When I say different things, I'm talking about different herbs. So it's kind of like a game with your intuition plus offerings to um, the other side, the angelic realm. More so, I mean, when, I, when it comes to offerings as an angels, they don't need offerings. They really don't need your offerings. It's nice for them to have, but... Uh, and this is just for fun. You're not trying to achieve a certain goal, although certain goals will be achieved with this. So if you want to invite in more love, and you don't even, you might not even know you want more love, or maybe you just want more love in your heart. Maybe you just want to feel more love. Then you'd burn rose petals. Ground rose petals, which all these ground ingredients are extremely inexpensive. They are inexpensive, like very cheap. And you can get them off Amazon, but when you burn them, You'll notice certain things happen in your life. You'll notice your your frequency changes. You notice things get more exciting. You notice you more you feel more blessed, uplifted. You feel more lucky. It's because when you burn something as well, it changes the atmosphere of your entire home. It changes everything. It it literally will change and warp your environment. So let's just say, uh, it especially if you've never burned anything since you moved in, then certain energies might be still there. So certain gurus will teach about this very in a very cool way. They'll say that. Let's just say you would like to tap more into the grounding frequency for the frequency of abundance. You want to feel more free and you want to, you want to feel more fresh, but then your inside of your home doesn't feel like that. It doesn't have that energy. It doesn't feel fresh like that. But when you take pine, for example, something from the outside, or you take like the, the bark of pine, the uh, pine needles that are safe to burn, non-poisonous, non-lethal, etc., and you burn it and you add that frequency to your room, now it feels like you're outside, but you're inside. So when you ask for travel, you're you're remembering stuff you have ease let's just say you want things to be more calm you'll burn in lavender or maybe you just want to you want to be more relaxed and at ease and at peace uh so you would burn lavender so lavender works really well so it's just everyone's completely different some of you will hear things pop into your head that you don't even know of you'll be like um like you'll hear like a passion flower it's like why would why would and you Maybe it's cause just maybe it's just cause your angel likes it. Maybe it's just because your angel likes it. And sometimes that alone, even if you're not burning it for a purpose and your angel just likes it, it brings your angel strength. So your guardian angel usually starts off uh, your guardian guardian angel, like your lower guardian angel, starts off with not as much strength in this world until you bring them energy. That's why you pay them attention. That's why you pay them time. I'm going to give you a secret about herbs for the people who watch this deep into the video. It has sacrificial energy, but of light. So in the Bible, it's always talked about burnt offerings and sacrifices to God. But the thing is, when in this day and age, uh, when you're doing sacrifices to using herbs, because herbs used to be alive. They used to be living. Herbs, even science knows that herbs were once alive. So when you burn the herb, it's kind of like it's paying something. It's like paying a spiritual debt. People like ancestor money, but when you burn an actual herb on a charcoal disc that used to be alive and now it's transcending to different dimensions, it has an energy of carrying over that, like a payment. So let's just say you're, you weren't supposed to be that lucky today. You were not supposed to see financial abundance and you paid. So the payment was made in the spiritual realm, but somehow you just got jumped ahead and now you're seeing financial abundance because just because you did a payment on something that uh, you didn't even know you were paying for. So that's one of the biggest things with when people burning sage all the time. I say don't burn sage at all because you don't know what you're paying for. You're paying for some craziness is what you're paying for. Uh, I made an entire video about that. I talked about that several times. I'm not going to repeat myself on that. Watch my video. If you haven't watched it on sage, you want to burn sage. It makes you lie very crazy without you even knowing it. One week after burning sage, you'll see things go crazy. And watch my video on that because I, I go in depth on that. But... This is just a cool video that you can really apply to your life. I would do this daily, three times a week at, I mean, at the most. Uh, you can do it daily, once once a day. At the least, I would do it once a week, three times a week, and you'll see some giant change coming. Like, uh, you'll find different things out about yourself. You'll, you'll hear your guides better. You'll feel your guides better. You'll feel more connected because they'll be telling you what herbs to burn. They'll be like, okay, today, star anise, or the next day, it's like, hey, coriander. It's like, it'll be the most random thing. So something popping into my head for someone in this video to burn uh rosemary for empowerment or for someone who is looking for 
Let's see, bay leaf to have your wishes granted and for everyone in your home to calm down and feel at ease. So, uh, next one, a really random one, uh, passion flower, okay? So passion flower is really good for people who are looking for financial abundance, etc. It makes you very popular in people's minds, especially if someone is, uh, let's just say you're getting a job interview or whatever, etc. They put you first, that's it. Uh, if you have any questions, ask them in the comment section. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Check out, come, oh, uh, I'm going to show you some of the new necklaces, which I showed you guys in the last video, but check out floridastoneman.com. I'm introducing new necklaces to the website. I still have yet to put the Moonstone necklace on the website, but I have some beautiful, beautiful handmade. That's lapis lazuli and amethyst, and they're very powerful. You wear them and your gifts are popping open. You start feeling different connections to your angels and guides, and I guess I have these just casually in my, uh, in my box here so yesterday's was moonstone and amethyst look how beautiful that is you guys i mean some of you can see the uh the flash on the moonstone it's gorgeous but it's really small moonstone so you're not going to be able to see the flash on camera like that but check out florida stone man if you haven't already until then i'll see you guys next time ciao